The best medicine in the world is a mother's kiss. Moke, a newborn gorilla, learned this in his earliest life experience. Moke's mother, Kalia, is an endangered western lowland gorilla from the Smithsonian National Zoo, and despite not being experienced with children, her maternal instinct kicked in, and she handled it like a natural. You can see in the footage how much love Kalia has for her newborn. She expressed it clearly by giving him kisses. Moke is the first western lowland gorilla born at the zoo in nine years. Baraka, his father, who is a 450-pound gorilla, watched along with his gorilla friends and let out what is described as a pleasurable rumble when the delivery was complete. The staff at the zoo are cautiously optimistic of young Moke's future. They will love Kalia to nurse him naturally and feel confident that her mothering skills will work out well. The staff helped her prepare by showing her photos of other mother gorillas by giving her a baby gorilla toy, showing her how to nurse the baby when it comes and other relevant parental behaviors. As soon as the gorilla is born, the mother's instincts kick in and she will begin to groom the baby. Jack Hannum, director emeritus of Columbus Zoo, told People, It can look a lot like human kissing, but it looks like she is actually using her lips to groom the baby and likely did it over the baby's whole body. Gorillas can be amazing. Attentive parents and watching these babies grow has been a highlight of my career. The Smithsonian National Zoo had a similar response. The birth of these western lowland gorilla is very special and significant not only to our zoo family, but also to this critically endangered species as a whole. The primate team's goal was to set Kalia up for success as best as we could. Given that she is a first-time mother, doing so required great patience and dedication on the part of my team. And I'm very proud of them and Kalia. We all saw everything. We saw the birth. We saw the five hours of labor. We were all kind of shaking a little with happiness. It was an amazing moment to share with the team. We were all really close to tears. Just have a look at their first full day together. Now, if for any reason Kalia is unable to care for Moak, the staff at the zoo have already prepared another older, experienced female gorilla to take over as a foster mom. The female called Mandara even fostered Baraka, Moak's father in the past. This infant's arrival triggers many emotions, joy, excitement, relief, and pride that all of our perseverance in preparing Kalia for motherhood has paid off, said animal keeper Melba Brown in the zoo statement. We will provide support to her if need be, but I have every confidence that Kalia will now be a great mom to Moak. I'm excited to see how he will fit into the group dynamic. There are a lot of different personalities in his family troop, but they are all working well together.